Hi, Will. You've been a great help this past week. Thank you. Thank you. Just wondering if it's possible to up the opacity on image block posters, in my case. 7.1 only allows it to be a slight color overlay, but I'm looking for it to be a higher opacity so that the text on the image block is more readable. Hope that makes sense. If this doesn't exist, is this something you might be able to look into? Great question. It does exist, and we just need to uh, find it in the code. So, quick answer. I've built out an image that's a poster image with some text. Very hard to read. Quick answer is dash image overlay. This isn't just some magic I'm making up. This is actually part of their code. I found this earlier. And you just set the opacity, opacity, 2.5. Uh, that's not going to work because it's not specific enough, so you can throw on an important tag on it. Um, if you don't want to use the important tag, I hate using important tags, uh, you can do, uh, let's see, design, layout, uh, let's see, design, layout, poster, I believe is what it is. And that'll do it for all your posters. So there's the quick answer. If you want to figure out how I learned that, how I knew how to do that, stick with me. Uh, and if you don't know, this opacity is a value between 0 and 1, so you can change that to 3 for 30% or like 8 for 80%. Uh, stick with me. Let's go over how I found that. So here is my page. It's live. It is. This is on my live site. I just right-clicked. Um, oh, it looks like light's turned off, so I'm a bit dark here. Uh, right-clicked on my image and hit Inspect. And this pops up, and I have this div called image overlay. And this is good coding by Squarespace because this is very clear. This class is very apparent what this is. This is the image overlay. I'm going to look at my CSS properties down here. There's an opacity of 0.5. And right there, you can see this is my classes right here Squarespace block image dot image overlay opacity 0.5. Uh, that's It's 0.5 because I changed it to 0.5, but. Uh, let's see if I save my changes over here and go back to my incognito mode with website and refresh. You'll see this was going to pop up to 0.8 right down there. So that's how I found it. If you wanted to just do it to this one specific image post poster block, you would want to find the the block ID. So I'm going to just so here is my here is my image here. I'm just going to scroll up until I find my div with a Squarespace block content. Nope, div Squarespace block. That's what I'm trying to look for. And then the ID equals block dash UE. That's how I know I've got the right one. I'm hovering over it. It is highlighted over here. And I just want to use this ID right here. So I'm going to copy that ID between the parentheses and come over here and in front of image overlay, the class that I'm looking to change and let there be a space between. I'm going to do hashtag and then paste in my block ID. And it's just going to affect this one image block. Now let's say I want to do this for all the poster blocks, all the image poster blocks. So I'm going to find in the, the code here where it says something about a poster because Squarespace, they, they have some good coders over at Squarespace, and they have created classes uh, these these are classes over here, and they are named appropriately, correspondingly, I should say, to what the, the, the block is that you drop in here. So I'm looking in here in the code for something that says poster right here. That's our design layout poster. So I'm going to just highlight this. It's difficult to highlight things in here. Well, I'm just going to remember it. Design dash layout poster. This is what I showed you earlier. Just type in depth dot design dash layout dash poster and this is going to change all my poster my poster blocks throughout my entire website uh, so that's how you do it fairly simple hope that helps